Hi everyone, Shane Armin Rowe here. If you've ever lost a game save due to a bad cloud sync on Steam, or maybe you were playing it offline and when you came online, all of your saves were overwritten by your cloud. Listen, you may have some hope here because even if you're not using something like Ludusavi, you can see my video here, you may still have some recourse because believe it or not, you can get access to your Steam Save Cloud. It's all true, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Stick around. Let's go, let's go into the Bonner world. Hi everyone, Shane Armonro here. Your profile has a lot of good information in it, and uh, if you dig into your account specifically, you're probably not going to find the subject of today's video. In fact, Nothing in here, maybe five or six levels deep, maybe you could find a link to this, but you're looking to find your old cloud saves, all of your cloud saves from all of your cloud save games. You can find purchase history and all this other stuff, but oddly enough, what I'm gonna show you today doesn't appear to be achievable by following links inside your Steam account. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this web address store.steampower.com slash account slash remote storage. And let's zoom this up a little bit so you guys can see. And this, wow, did you know this was here? This is your Steam Cloud saves. Yes, oddly enough, they're all here. Now, obviously this page is complete crap, right? You can't sort by game. I have no idea what, what it is that they're sorting by. Uh, it is really as rudimentary of a page as humanly possible, which is why I don't believe that they want the general public to have access to it. The other thing too is this, even the existence of this probably uh, would cause Steam and Valve a lot of technical support calls and a lot of emails. So they have this here. If you were to contact support and ask them for something, they could probably send you here. But what you have here is a list of like all of your games with Cloud Sync support. As you can see, I've got a lot. Now, you're probably thinking, oh my God, this is it. This is the revelation. I will be able to get back my old saves. Mm -hmm, yes and no. There's a couple of things you have to know about this particular system before you get too excited. First off, you can see I've got a lot. And since they're not in order, you're gonna have to start using things like your uh, search bar, right? So we'll hit Control F here and we'll type in Forsaken, or Forspoken rather, Forspoken. There we go. So here's Forspoken. This is the horrible game that got released early in 2023. I played the crap out of it. I do find some redeeming qualities in the game and it played okay on the Steam Deck. But for some reason, if I ever wanted to go back and get my save files, it says there's 11 files in here, or some only have one file. That's not a good sign, by the way, if there's only one file in there you may be screwed. But there's 11 in First Spoken. So let's go in there and take a look. If you go in here, you'll see all sorts of stuff, an auto save, a quit save, all the save slots that I did my own saving in. In this case, guess what? You may have some recourse here because what may have happened is an auto save may have happened or something like that that took a local save and overwrote your cloud save. The good news is, as you can see, these are all by date. So this isn't a one and all collection of files. These files were incrementally done over time. And of course you can't, you can't sort these either. It's absolutely ridiculous. But my point is, is if for some reason you lost an auto save slot or your auto save slot got wiped or one of your save slots got wiped by a bad cloud sync, you really can go in here and pull one of your older ones and grab that file. The fact that these files are here though, means that even though the latest cloud sync that may have nuked one of your saves or actually started you over from scratch, may be available here for you to get, right? Grab the latest version of the game that actually has some save data in it. You may have to go through a couple of these to find one, but you're not out 20, 30, 100 hours of gameplay. Now. That works for some games, but let's take a look at God of War. God of War has one save, just one, that's it. So if for some reason my local game save was blank and it got uploaded to the cloud, 
it probably overwrote this one. So I'm gonna download this and it's, it will be the same thing that a cloud sync would do. It'd bring back an empty save game file. So in this case, that would not have helped. But there's tons of games like Hogwarts Legacy, for example. Look at this, I've got access to all of my old saves and I can grab whichever one of these I want and download it. Now again, it all depends on the game and the developer and all sorts of things. You're probably wondering as I'm scrolling around, why are some of these empty? What does that mean, a delisted game or what? If you go in and look at it, sometimes you can tell this is Back for Blood beta saves, right? Well, the beta is gone now, there's a real game, so that's not there anymore. Like, likewise, if I go in here, here's a RetroArch one. Maybe this got pulled or it got changed to a different name, it's hard to say. But I've got tons of these. So if you don't find your game with a search, right? Like, what's this guy? So let's say that I'm looking for Injustice 2. Well, first of all, if I spell it right, there is no Injustice 2 in here, but one of these empty ones is my Injustice save files. I can't remember which one it is. Uh, I think it's one that had six in it. But my point is, is even though your game isn't listed here, it may still be available. I hope this helps out. I mean, there's opportunity here to get your saves back. Now remember, even though there's multiple files in here, they could all be for the same game save. In this case, it looks like they're not. But you may find one that has a whole bunch of files. Let's take a look at, um, I'm trying to think of one that has that, because I know I saw one. Uh, yeah, so this one has like three saves. There's a config and it's got a VMT and a VTF. These are all one snapshot. Right, this is one shot, they're all, they all came up pretty much at the same time, the config got changed later. But my, my point is, is that this stored one snapshot, and if the snapshot that got accidentally uploaded to the Steam Cloud got sent, this is it, and you're not gonna be able to recover anything. So it's a case-by-case -case basis, but at least there's an opportunity. You have a chance of getting back some of these uh, saves that you may have lost due to some egregious error with cloud syncing. Now I have another video on something called Ludusavi. Check it out up here. It will help you prevent problems like this by doing local saves of your game saves, giving you the opportunity to have a choice of uh, going back to older versions. Most of us know that the secret to Windows games running on the Steam Deck is something called Proton, a compatibility layer that sits between Linux and the game. When you install a game on the Steam Deck, you're allowed to choose a location, such as internal SSD or external micro SD card. But that is only the game files themselves. Proton's secret weapon is something called the Proton Prefix. This is a sandboxed, simulated Windows environment that contains crucial Windows items like a fake registry and system files that games need to run. This simulated sandbox also contains things like save and game configuration files, and these are of great interest to some people. We're going to explain how to figure out the Proton Prefix location and how to get a one-to-one -one mapping of folders on a game-by-game -game basis. When a Windows game is installed on the deck via Steam or by installing something as a non-Steam game, a Proton version is required to provide that compatibility translation layer. When you install a Steam game, Valve handles all of this, but you can override the Proton version, and if you're installing a non-Steam game, you must provide what Proton version to use. This could be a Proton's production release, Proton Experimental, Proton Hotfix, or even a third-party Proton build like GE Proton. During the install, a Proton Prefix folder is created to handle all of the system-level files required. Accessing this area is useful for a variety of reasons, including save game files, installing other Windows files like DirectX, Visual C++, and more. For those looking for these Proton prefixes, it can be a bit daunting since every game has a unique folder. So let's figure that part out first. Every Steam game has a unique ID assigned to them when published. Even non-Steam games must have a unique ID. The former is assigned by Valve, the latter is assigned a randomly generated number when you create it, meaning if both you and I install Battle.net as a non-Steam game, our Proton Prefix folders are going to be different. Getting the unique ID of a bonafide Steam game is easy. A trip over to SteamDB.info and a quick search will reveal the Steam ID. In the case of Titanfall 2 here, the Steam ID is 1237970. We'll make a note of that. 
Let's go find those proton prefixes. All the prefixes are stored in the same place, a hidden by default folder called compat data. This can be found at home slash deck slash dot local slash share slash steam slash steam apps. All of the paths discussed in this video will be in the description below. Once you're in compat data, it's merely a matter of finding the steam ID we found earlier. Let's go into Titanfall 2's folder, 1237970. In this folder are prefix files you should leave alone. These are system level files that hold no real interest to you. There is a PFX folder, and within that there are more system level files, including the fake registry created for the Windows game in question and more. What we're looking for, though, is the Drive C folder. Yep, there it is. What Titanfall 2 thinks is the Windows C drive. Once you enter that folder, you should feel right at home as a Windows user. They are all the folders you would hope to see. Program files, users, Windows, etc. Now let's say we were interested in backing up the save games from Titanfall 2. Using PC Gaming Wiki, we can find the location of the save games. According to that site, the saves are located at user profile slash document slash respawn slash Titanfall 2 slash profile slash save games. If we go into users, then Steam user, which is always the user by the way, then go into documents, respawn, Titanfall 2, and profile, we see the save games folder, and if we dig in there, sure enough, there is our save game file. Sweet. Now that you know where the man behind the curtain is hiding, it can offer all sorts of possibilities, including your ability to sync save games between deck and gaming PC for those titles that do not have cloud sync, as well as adding mod files or other modifications that quote, require Windows. As a follow up, I highly recommend my Proton 101 video, my Proton Tricks and Tips video, and a few others that I'll leave links to in the description below. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and please leave a comment. All of these things help this channel grow and provide you with more great videos just like this one. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, take care.